Hey, I'm Pete with Moscow Moto, and today in this video, I want to talk about our Backcountry 40 and 30 duffel. This is just an incredibly durable, incredibly waterproof duffel for long distance touring and long distance travel. The way we achieve the durability is that we actually make it as two completely separate bags. So there's an outer sewn seam bag that's designed to be super tough, and then there's an inner welded seam bag that's your dry bag. So this is a bag you can really count on to be totally waterproof and not disintegrate, even over like long trips when you're out in the middle of nowhere and you just can't have any, any kind of gear failure. Another really unique feature of the Backcountry Duffel is that it's a double-ended roll top. So when you think about the classic motorcycle duffels, they're usually top opening roll tops, and then your straps are going over the opening. So if you want to get access to anything during the day, you have to undo both connection straps, unroll the top, and then the opening's up here, you can't really see what's inside the bag. So you end up removing it from the back of the bike just to get something simple out or put something simple in. So with a double-ended roll top, your access is from the sides, your straps are still over the top, but it means that you can get at stuff without having to unpack everything. So for example, when I pack this bag, I'll typically um, remember what I have on the end. So I'll be very intentional about what goes there. So I might have my camera gear, my swim trunks and my towel here, my long underwear and my heated jacket here. And then I can pull those things out, use them, put them back in without any hassle, without having to unpack the back of the bike. Another really cool feature is that this bag has backpack straps, really comfortable, like real backpack straps that kind of hide away in a little hidden pocket on the back. Backpack straps are really handy for getting into a hotel room. Um, it's also great for getting to a campsite that's not right next to the bike, like if you wanna camp over by a river or something like that. And it's also very handy if you're uh, in a breakdown or have some kind of situation where you, you need a go bag to kind of go with you, either you're jumping on a buddy's bike or you're hiking out or you're hitchhiking. You can kind of hide your other stuff, put everything you really need in this bag, put it on your back and go. A lot of people don't think about backpack straps when they're shopping for a motorcycle duffel, but they actually come in handy for all kinds of stuff. During the day, the beaver tail is just a really convenient spot to like stash your jacket or put things under. So for example, um, the other day on this trip, I woke up and it had rained all night. So my rain fly was soaking wet. So I just took that, rolled it up, and stashed it under the beaver tail so I didn't have to put it in my pannier next to my dry stuff. I also store my motorcycle jacket under here as well. I ride with separate body armor, so when it heats up, I take my jacket off, and I still have my armor. I'm just riding in a jersey, and I'll take my jacket and kind of roll it up and stash it here under the beaver tail. If you're going to store things under the beaver tail, I really recommend always having a secondary containment system. So, like for example, when I do my jacket, I put it under a volet strap. I have a little leash here that I use to clip to other things I might want to store under there. Um, I have a carabiner here that holds my hat. There's four little D-rings here, which are great spots, and the two handles, which are great spots to connect little leashes. A couple of other convenient um, stash spots. There's a big clear pocket here. This is actually a removable document pocket. I've got my paper maps in there and also my lock. Um, the bag is lockable, by the way. You can use one of our cable locks and run it through the handles and kind of lock it to the bike. And it also helps lock the roll top closed. Also under the beaver tail, we've got a little clear pocket here. That's great for like toiletries. We've got the tent pole pocket. I've got some camera sticks and zip ties and an air pump under there right now. There's a helmet clip here. So when you're shuttling around at a gas station or getting on and off a ferry, you can take your helmet and clip it there. For connecting the backcountry duffel to the bike, we went with a classic strap over the top of the duffel connection system. And the reason we did that is because for off-road riding, it's just the most secure, most reliable system, even if things shift around in the bag. And we have a strap called the backcountry cinch strap, which works really well for that. The straps go through these little tunnels on the beaver tail, which keeps the bag centered on the bike and also makes it just literally impossible no matter what happens back there for that bag to escape. In terms of who this duffel works best for, I think there are a couple things you can ask yourself. One is, what do you store in your rear duffel and do you want access to that stuff during the day? If you're storing just camping gear up there, there's no way you're going to need it during the day. Um, maybe you'd be better served with a top opening duffel like our Scout 30 or our Scout 50. But if you store clothes and electronics like I do up there, then getting access to that stuff is important during the day and the double-ended roll top is really going to be handy. I think another thing you can ask yourself is how much abuse are you really putting your bags through? If you're someone who is riding mostly pavement, short trips, staying in hotels, then you could probably get away with a single layer bag. But if you're doing long trips or you're doing off-road trips or you're mostly camping where the bag is getting dragged around over the tent, it's sitting next to the fire, it's being vibrated against the bike all day, the things inside are vibrating against the dry bag all day, then I think a double layer bag is the only way to go. You know, we really designed this bag for like long distance, multi-day, multi-week, years long travel on kind of mid-size to larger adventure bikes. It works really great for like backcountry discovery route trips, cross-country epics, transcontinental journeys, or flying in trips like the one I'm on right now. You know, over the years, we've added a bunch of features on this bag that I think are really going to appeal to riders who are actually living out of their bags. If you have any questions about it that I didn't cover in this video and aren't covered on the product page, you can always send us a note. We'll get you an answer, moscomoto at moscomoto.com, or you can leave a comment below and we'll try to reply that way. So thank you so much for watching.